Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to start a new uh, tutorial series on Edgebase. So I welcome you all uh, in this new tutorial series. We have covered lots of very important Hive uh, tutorials in in the Hive to, uh, uh, you know tutorial series for beginners. So today we are starting with the uh, very very new series uh, on Edgebase. I got lots of requests uh, to make videos on Edgebase. So, uh, you know, here is a tutorial series on Edgebase. So, uh, while learning any of the database technology, right, like Edgebase is also a database technology, only the difference in between, uh, you know, rest of the uh, databases, database tools, like let's say Hive or MySQL or Oracle, right, all these are the row oriented databases where you store the data in the form of rows, right the thing which is different for the edge base is it is a column oriented database now what do you mean by column oriented database uh, you will get to know that particular thing very soon but apart from this particular uh, you know uh, this video i'm gonna create a very detailed overview of how the edge base architecture looks like and uh, you know what exactly uh, what do you mean uh, by the column oriented database what are the advantages of column oriented databases and all but uh, that we will uh, do that particular session after a few very basic session on HBase. okay so uh, without you know spending much more time on uh, theoretical part let's get started and see how we can get into the HBase shell so to log in into the HBase shell what you need to do is you have to type HBase shell HBase space shell so this particular command will take you uh, to the edge base shell and as you can see i am using the uh, cloudera's uh, docker image uh, as as the same same as that of we have used for hive uh, for the edge base tutorial as well okay so as you can see on the screen that this is our edge base shell and this is the place where we are going to run our edge base commands or queries okay so the first and foremost very basic thing uh, in the edge base that how we can create the table in edge base okay so it also has uh, the similar kind of a syntax where uh, we will start uh, creating a table by using the create command then into the single inverted uh, you know colon we will give name of the table let's say i wanted to create a customer table after that we will give comma separated list of column names that we wanted to include in the customer table let's say uh, first column which i wanted to in uh, include is for example customer info okay so the basic customer information like uh, the first name last name right uh, that we can write into this customer info column and then let's say i wanted to give like customer contact details this is my second column okay in the edge base terminology we call these two particular things right wherever i am i have mentioned column this is nothing but my column family so what do you mean by column family is i can include multiple level of this particular information into this particular column family like for example right customer underscore information now when i say customer un underco underscore information it could include first name then last name and then city in which this particular customer is uh, living and whatnot right then when i say customer contact details it could include its mobile number email address some facebook uh, you know profile id or something related to the contact details so basically this is the reason since we can include multiple uh, fields into a customer info or multiple fields into the customer contact details uh, column for that matter this is the reason this particular uh, you know within the edge base terminology we call this thing as column family which is kind of a combination or uh, you know kind of you are gathering the related information together and putting that into this family column family right so uh, you will get to know this when we will insert record into this particular table 
so uh, this is the command uh, to create a table uh, in HBase. okay so if you just uh, read it one more time that create customer table and it has two column families one is customer underscore info and another one is customer underscore contact underscore details okay now what is the purpose of uh, this particular column family that whatever customer related information that I wanted to store I'll store that in the customer info column family and whatever contact related uh, information I wanted to store that I will store into this customer contact details column family okay so let's see how we can insert uh, records into the customer table okay so for that I have some uh, basic syntax that is already with me okay so i'll just uh, copy it here so see insertion of the records into the edge base table will start with the put command okay put is nothing but kind of a insert into edge base table okay so here you need to start writing put then name of the table in the single quote now this is the first row in our uh, edge base table right the, this is the first record that we are inserting so that's why I have written number one. This is kind of you can treat this particular thing as ID that this is my first record into the edge base table. Then next thing which I should give uh, after uh, giving the ID is for which column family I am inserting a record. Okay. So name of the column family is customer underscore info. After that you can see this particular colon first name right because in the customer information let's say I wanted to store two things because it is a column family right the first thing which I wanted to store in the customer info is its first name and the second information that I wanted to store in the customer info column family is its second name okay so this is what the syntax does that put a record with ID is equal to one into the customer table where the first column into the customer info column family is first name and the value associated with this first name is Rahul okay so after giving this particular thing you can put enter okay so this will add first record with the customer info column family and the first name now the second thing which I want to do is I wanted to insert for the first record itself I wanted to add the last name okay so Rahul let's say give some surname last name as Rahul Roy okay so what does this particular thing says that put one more record into the customer table where ID is one column family is customer info but the actual column that I wanted to put into this particular column family is last name right and the value for this particular thing so let's put enter here right so this will add this particular record into this particular column family now let's see how does this record looks like when we try to read the data from the customer table right so for that there is like to insert the records into the customer table or into the HBase table we have put command but to fetch the data from the customer table or any of the edge base table we have get command okay so you will write that get me the records from the customer table where id is equal to 1 so whatever records that we have inserted into this particular customer table up till now it should list all those records right so here is a result that it has this particular column so ultimately uh, what is the column name here that it is a combination of your column family and the actual column that you have written okay so as you can see here in the single co column family called as customer info we have two columns one is first name and another one is last name right so here this is what the same thing is displayed that customer info colon first name and the value is Rahul right customer info last name value is Roy right so this is how the information gets stored into the edge base table 
and as you can see uh, in in the initial uh, at the start of the session right i have mentioned that hbase is a column oriented database right so this is how it stores the data as you can see this is stored in the column oriented fashion that this is my first column with value rahul this is my second column with value roy right now let's try to insert the record for the column family customer contact details for the id 1 right so here we will mention that put a record into the customer table with id 1 in the column family customer contact details with column name as for example mobile okay mobile number and let's say let's give it as 9999767767 for example okay so i wanted to add a column called as mobile into the column family customer contact details and the corresponding value for this particular column is this okay so let's press enter now if you run the similar get command again then ideally you should receive or you should be able to retrieve three details two same as as that of this customer info first name customer info last name and the one which we recently added right for for this particular column family so let's try to get those details so as you can see uh, we have executed the get command and it has written this third column as well now since we have inserted that here that customer contact details from that mobile and the value is this okay so let's try to add one more uh, column family for the customer contact details as email and let's give some value here let's say rahul roy at the rate gmail.com for example okay enter and if I do uh, get, then I should now retrieve four columns here. The two columns which we recently added in the uh, as the first name, last name, and the to be added into the customer contact details family, column family, right? Mobile number with its value and email with its value. Okay. So I hope uh, now, at least for now, you able to understand that how we can create a table in the edge base and how we can retrieve the records from already created table uh, in, from the edge base table okay so uh, we'll continue with some of the uh, basic stuff uh, into the next uh, tutorial uh, where we'll see uh, how we can you know update the records how we can uh, delete uh, particular one particular record or how we can delete the entire table okay so we'll see all those things uh, but uh, this is what uh, for this particular tutorial thank you very much for watching this and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye